Hey everyone, I'm Grace. And I'm Dad. And this welcome to another Coding with Dad. Coding with Dad. Okay, so um, our scratch, one of our scratcher of the, oh, we actually have multiple scratcher of the episodes today. But our first one is the Bacon 64, and he just, he basically made, a, followed our tutorial on the chat program. Chat program and it's. And he made one, a really nice one too, right? Yeah, he made a really nice one. So, and, and then here, well, actually, we should probably start with with the actual thing we're going to be doing, which is Blender. So basically, we're going to be doing Blender today, which is a 3D animation program that allows you to basically, just what I said, create three-dimensional pictures like this picture right up here. And, um, and Blender so, is like, it's like you kind of wireframe things in yeah, 3D and add skins to them yeah, and it's even pretty cool. animate we'll, them, but we'll right? show, Yeah, okay. we'll show you holding after. And basically, we have some examples over here made by scrat some scratchers, and these are all scratchers of the episode. And here, I'll just rewind this a bit. And basically, it's just a bullet breaking through the glass. Wow, that was done in Blender? Yes, it was done all in Blender. And here's uh, a falling person. Just start this from the beginning. So here the and character was done just, in Blender, right? Yeah, and then they also made him fall over in Blender. The whole wow. thing is Blender rendered. And here's some, what I think is the most amazing. And it's just, wow. it's basically so they, just... They created these, these scenes in Blender? Yeah, we're going to be doing something fairly basic today. But first off, we have to show you how to download it. So just go to download. So blender.org. Dot and org, not dot then com. The, then the download. And um, do a download, and depending on what you have, so do you have, if you have um, Windows. If then you have Windows, I do the, M, the that first one, install okay. on the side. Okay. Easier. And then if you have a Mac, just click here. And if you have a Linux, which mm -hmm. I don't know who has a Linux, but if you do, then, you know, use this one. Right. But, and then um, pause the video, and then once you're downloaded with it, you can follow the instructions for here. But if, once you're downloaded, then you can play the video again and come to Blender. So we already have it set up. It's a basic startup so this is, screen. So when you start Blender, this is what you get. Yeah, and, and it kind of puts you in a three D space, mm -hmm. right? And again, to start to start it up, you just hit New and then Reload Startup File, and that just brings you to the starting screen. So a few basic commands are: if you hold the middle button for your mouse, you kind of scroll around like this. If you um, if you left left this. Oh. Right, right click. If you yeah. right click, you can. No, no, that's the left click. Left click? Really? Yep. Oh, okay. No, this is right. Oh, is that this right? is my right hand. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, so, right. um, this is right click. If you do right click, it kind okay. of goes like this. Yep. If you do left click, then you can kind of move it like. Uh, along an axis. This is the. And if you hit shift and this middle button on your mouse, you can kind of move it look crazy like that. So, basically, that's pretty much all you need to know for the basic tutorial. So what we're going to be doing is we can make, um, let's make a little bit of a bowl, because that's, that's, cool. that's kind of a really cool thing to, that's pretty easy to do. So basically just hit shift, no, let them, hold on, you have to hit X when you're hovering over, make sure you're selecting it, then click X, or delete, I'm not sure, for me it's X, and just click delete, and then you can hit add over here, and then you can add a mesh and a UV sphere. Okay. And that basically just gives you a nice sphere to start with. Because it started, start it started you off with, with a with a cube, yeah. right? Yeah. So but basically, you you just delete that and then create a sphere. Create a sphere, and again, make sure you're holding the middle button. And then basically, what you do is you hit, you come over here and you change it to a wireframe or edit. No, you change it to edit mode. Okay. So you go from object mode to edit mode right here, and then you change you use this one to change it to a wireframe. Okay. And basically, uh -huh. now it's just. It's basically just a wireframe. So if you, if I change it back to object mode, you'd see it's just it's now all it is is a wireframe. So let's go back to edit mode so you can edit it. And if you have a keypad on the side, there's different hotkeys you can use. But for me, I don't have the extra keypad, so we have to use this. So you have to, when you want to go to view persp ortho, which is not with the orthographic yeah problem. yeah, go <laughs> and then um, number pad five. So. And then you're also going to go view front. Okay. And basically, so now you have just. You're viewing the front of it, orthographic yes. usually, or you're viewing the top or the side, right? Oops, sorry. I have to go back to front. Okay. Front. Probably, like, since a sphere is the same all the way around, it's like when you switch views, it's always going to look the same. Right? And just zoom in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to press B, and then select the first couple of. Ones to give yourself that bowl shape. Okay. Hold on, it didn't stop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. You have to hit A first to deselect it because oh, okay. all of it was already selected. 
and then you come over here and just go B. And again, anything of, selected would probably turn orange, maybe. Yeah. So just go like that, and then. Ah, uh, okay. And then just hit X or delete, depending on what what your delete thing is, and okay. So you're kind like, of you're creating the bowl now, because you're like, yeah. you're gonna take the top off the thing, and yeah, then so it's gonna be like, you're just like gonna a hit bowl. Delete vertices, and then there you have a little bowl thing. Right. And but basically, you can probably see if I move if I turn this, oh, yeah. it's pretty much an em a very empty kind of a bowl. Right. When whole when it doesn't have very much depth to it at all. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to um. When you say depth, it doesn't have a, like the yeah, the sides any, of the of the bowl are, are like size. razor thin. So what you're going it's to probably do, made with carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. <laughs> yeah. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to hit solidify to make it actually solid. Okay. And basically, you're just going to change the thickness to of it, and just have uh, it come out yeah. a little until you have your desired thickness. Okay. So it's giving the bowl like if it was a ceramic bowl. Yeah. You know, you need. I don't want it to be fairly thick. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to object mode and make sure you change it back to a solid, otherwise it's not very uh, yeah. solid at all. So now you have your little bowl thing. Okay. So you got, now... You could almost, if you put a little handle on it, it would be a teacup. Almost yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what you're going to just going to do is hit smooth, oh, and now wow. you have a very smooth bowl. Yeah. I think you can also smooth it, make it even more smooth if you do it a different, different way, but... Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. So now, cool. basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's a little, we're going to make it a different material. So I think that's this button right here. Yeah. So you're going to hit new. Now, this isn't what we're going to be working in. You're going to change this to cycles render. And then you're going to hit new, use nodes. And here, now you can change the type of surface. So now it's like a diffuse. So it's just like a kind of a standard. Here, I'll even show you what diffuse looks like. And let's just make a color kind of like this. I'm trying to show you what the views yeah. looks like. Yeah, so that's good. Basically, I'm just going to hit render. This is just a quick. We'll learn how to do a, ren a real render later. Yeah. So uh, it, it, there's not really any light source or anything, so it's kind of doesn't look that good. And then you can just hit escape and you're back to normal. Okay. But we're going to, I think we should make either like a glass or a, let's just make it a glass bowl. Yeah, that sounds good. That's kind of cool. And I would rather have a, no, I, I'm actually going to make a, Let's just do mixed shader. Then we can make kind of like a ceramic y okay. bowl. So if we do glossy and white. But obviously, then, when people are fooling with this, this is a pretty good thing to fool yeah, you around can with. Just you fool can around. experiment this is for pretty, hours with this, right? Yeah, you can, and then just do diffuse and then make this a, kind of an off white. So. And we can kind of see how that looks. Okay. You hit render, render and render image because it. I guess the render image really takes some time because it's really so going through a lot of math. Pretty ceramic -y. Yeah. So let's just escape this quickly. Okay. So now if we zoom out, then we can make um, a little platform to sit on. Otherwise, it's kind of a floating thing. Right. So let's just add a plane, and you're just gonna hit S, which is scale, and then type like ten or something, and okay. it's pretty huge now. So just bring this down until it's not floating anymore. You can even do it like this way. So oh, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so guess it's can, cutting through right so now. So you can see okay. how to make it perfect. Now I'm that, just going to make it kind of like a little bit of a flatter bottom. It's kind of flatter now. Okay. The bottom, so it'll stay up better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, now we have to change the color of this thing. Oops. <laughs> and hit new. Because now we and, have that yeah, just plane, we have the plane selected. So now we're changing things. So you just things. change it to whatever color you want. You can, okay. move it, you can make it. If you want to make it like checkered, you have to make multiple planes and make them all different colors. Okay. But right now, I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna make a nice minty kind of color. So see how the basic looks, basically. This is just a whole, you know, kind of thing of the colors, but that looks pretty good. It'll look better once we have the light source. Okay. So if we escape, now, like I keep on saying, we're gonna add the light source. So. The light source is gonna give it more color and depth because it's now it's, there's it's like a real light pointing at yeah, it. Yeah, there's right? two ways to do this. You can either just take this light source right here mm -hmm. and just kind of put it around that area. It's like if you were to have a real lamp and you could yeah. point it in different directions, right? And you can see when you render it. Right. Ah, so it's right in the shadows, like, right? Or you can just basically you can I'll show you the second method of doing it. So let's just escape that here. Now say now you hit add, and basically you can just kind of add any shape you want. I'm just gonna add a sphere, like a sun kind of. Mm -hmm. right. it's, this is 
and then you hit basically you just hit new and you do mission and then you make this you can change the strength of it so we just see how that looks basically i just want to make sure so it's is that is that sphere is what the light's coming out of yeah that's one oh, of the and coming so out of see, all directions right when this is the sphere but wait basically what we can see is when we're going to zoom in it'll be pretty good so that kind of gives us an idea we're not going to include the sphere in our thing because right, that right. would kind of <laughs> kill the effect right, okay right. so what we're going to do is we're going to go view and we're, we're going to view it from the camera. Now, this is the camera's point of view. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit view, and we're going to press properties. And we're just going to, I forget where it was. Um, yeah, lock camera to view. Now, I believe the hotkey for this is, yeah, N. The hotkey for this is N, so you can just press N to make it go away. But anyway, so now we can, now the camera is locked to our view. Right. So, if we move it around however we please. So now let's, let's kind of get a close-up view of the bowl. Right. Plus, I also want to make sure. This and the sphere is giving light, but it's not in the view, right? Yes. Okay. It's just outside. So this is the camera. So it's almost as if you were really setting up a bowl on a table, taking a picture, setting up a light, but it's all done in the computer. So here's the basic bowl, and I can see this has the edge available showing. So you can just do little things like that, where you do a quick render, mm -hmm. and then you can just. Move this out a little so it goes to the edge of the screen. I'm just gonna right. make it go a little bit more. I but see. just to be safe. All right, so now what we've got this, we know that it's pretty darn good. So um, it's right over here. So if you have a later version of the Blender, I think it'll be called something else than Integrator. It'll be called like I'm not really sure, hmm. but for Blender versions. Sorry, hold on. I don't know about Blender, but yeah. Blender. Oh, uh, no. It's, oh. There. File? No, no about oh, about here. Right. No, about, that's about this Mac. <laughs> okay, sorry. Hold on. We really just want this. We okay. want that. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. We just want yeah. Right. Yeah, we just want. Oh yeah, sorry. About Blender. About Blender. So this Blender's versions two point six three. Now it's a later version, but but they're basically were. They it's basically the they yeah. work the same. So you can probably find a tutorial that shows you which, and I'll leave a link in the description. Yep. So anyway, you can sorry. Sorry about all that, but you're going to change the samples, and you're going to change the render to... So as you up the render, like the render was very coarse before, because you wanted yes. to just see it really quickly along the way. So basically you... what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, since it would take a kind of a long time to do it by hand, yep. I'm just going to set it to 1,000. And what was it originally? Like 10 or something? Like it was that. like 10. Yeah. So That's why it showed kind of crude, but now... When you, when you bring it up to a thousand, it takes longer yeah. to render, right? So, but it's, yeah, it, but it's, it looks really good, right? And you can you, basically just do it as high as you want because you can always stop the rendering process at any time. Okay. So you can just have it just go to a really high spot and then just just when and you're like, okay, that's good. Just hit escape and then. And, and we see up here. Is this is this showing where we are in the yeah, render? Yeah, we're at eight, eight out of a, out of a thousand. thousand. But every so, every time it clicks up, Grace, it seems like it it gets clearer and clearer and yeah, clearer, right? It does. It gets like probably like twice as clear. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna pause the video and then we're gonna show you, we're gonna play it again when this finishes rendering. Okay. Oops. Wait. Okay. Hold on. Um. It's paused. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We basically just loaded 120 samples and it looks it takes, amazing. It takes a long time, so we're just gonna hit uh, escape, and that basically brings us back to the Both. escape. Yeah, okay. that's good. So that basically brings us back to where we can now. And and, and Grace, um, like we had it originally go up to a thousand, but if you if you let it go, it will get better and better and better and better, yeah. right? So basically, what we're going to be doing now is we're just going to be. Now there's probably ways. Like if you go to the file menu, probably a way yeah, you to can uh, save as maybe save as yeah. So you can save and save as, and you can save your work. Export. Um, well, go to export, export, Grace. I'm sorry. Because you can probably export. Oh, and all these different different formats. 3D Studio. So you can probably even 3D print with this, which yeah. probably which just seems really cool. So anyway, let's. And at some point, if you want, we'll, we might yeah. do a we may do a video on, on going all the way to 3D printing. Yeah. So if you want, if you want that, then you know, leave a comment below. And anyway. So you just made a screen a screenshot. Of yeah. It. So basically, I just made a screenshot, and if you're on a Mac, that's Command Shift Four, and you can just select the area you want. That's probably the easiest way. But if you're on a Windows, you can just you know follow the directions to export it. So anyhow, let's bring this over here. Sorry, hold on. Okay. So now I'm just gonna show you how to 
basically just bring it into scratch. So yeah. let's hit create. Loading, 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 hmm. loading, loading. I think this computer got slow because the bl blender takes a lot of blender and um, <laughs> recorder and everything. So anyway, so we hit just scratch kitty, sorry scratch kitty, and then um, import. And you can just look for. I'm just gonna look for screenshot because I know that's the one I did, but you can. Uh, it's probably better quality if you go through it. So. Hmm, I'm having trouble finding it. Hold on. Short by date, it's probably be the one we just today oh, screenshot that oh, one. <laughs> probably. probably. Uh, let's open that up. Yeah. There. So, so it's it would probably be better if I didn't take a screenshot and if I just kind of. But at least you kind of sh you show everybody like we did this awesome you know use Blender to do something awesome. We just made a bowl, but you could go crazy in Blender, right? Yeah. And then just like these really cool examples. Yes. And Bye. Blender also has animation too. Maybe we'll we'll look at doing some animation. If people are more yeah. interested in Blender, let us know. Maybe we'll do some uh, how to do animations in Blender. And but you can imagine like you can't get these kind of graphics just in um, scratch. In scratch by itself. I yourself. don't think I could. No. Take hours. Yeah, and 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 it didn't really take that long just to do that that bowl, which was really really pretty nice, right? Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks, and, and leave, we'll see you leave in the next a comment video. on the uh, on the video. Oh, and we'd love to see what you did. So if you create it and then you import it to Scratch, then yes, we'd love to see then anything definitely you guys do give it to us because who knows, you could be the next Scratcher of the episode. Okay. Well, until next time. Bye. Bye.